The key to getting the best performance out of an RV refrigerator is to allow the circulation to work. Now, we all have a tendency to fill them up every square inch, and once you do that, boy, it starts allowing and, and the... it, Especially the top shelf, because the cooling is coming from these fins here, so the more stuff you put on these upper shelves, it's cold falls, so it's going to start blocking this the circulation. We have, we have a tendency to just, you know, use up every square inch and there are a couple of products on the market that have been out for a long time that little fans that you can put in there to help with the circulation. Now, you got to keep in mind that there's only so much differential between the ambient temperature and the inside of the box temperature and we want to make sure we get the best benefit, the best performance out of it. Now, here's a product that just came on the market that's called a Fridge Fix and it's made, it's made by Smart RV Products. Now this thing here really does a job of circulating the air. Now Bill, this thing here is, these things are, are specific to the brand of refrigerator and size of refrigerator. Now I noticed in this refrigerator, which is an older one, that it's this light here is kind of in the way. It does, this light's blocking this and it's not really made for this refrigerator, but the light doesn't work anyway. So we're just gonna remove the light, install it, and then we'll have the circulation that we really need. Well, I don't think it's very hard to install, so Bill, go for it. Okay. So I'm getting ready to install this fan kit, and there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Make sure that these holes in the back of this fan kit are directly up against the fins in the back, because that's what really gets the circulation going. So now, these things won't fit um, every, every refrigerator, so you need to check that first with a manufacturer. Um, this particular light is in our way. I'm just going to remove it. It does not work. I'm going to take it out of there and we're going to put this in so we have better cooling to do that. So I'm going to get started by pulling these shelves out of here just to give me some room to get the drill up in there and drill the rivets to this light. I think that I've got plenty of room for that to get my drill up in there. So I'm just going to kind of set it up in here, see where I want to go. So with that light out of there, this thing's actually going to fit pretty good. This particular light is held on by some plastic rivets. So I'm going to knock the center of this rivet out of there, and then I'm going to take a, a drill and carefully go up in there. So I've never had to remove one of these lights before. So I'm hoping that it'll cooperate for me. And of course, there's always one tough to get to. So, am I gonna get, oh yeah, it's gonna pop right down. Look at that, I love it. I think I'll cut that because of where it is. It's going to create a problem. Okay, before I start cutting all these wires, I want to see which one is the positive wire because I know that we ground it to the fins in here. So the black is a positive wire. We're gonna use that. The other two wires, we're not gonna use. I gotta be really careful. I don't knock that camera loose on the back there. So I'm gonna cut these off a little bit shorter and kind of tuck them in out of my way. As I'm not gonna use those. I'm going to turn this off for a second because this wire with the uh, refrigerator on the wire is live the minute I turn the refrigerator off the wire is not live so while I'm fumbling around in here so I don't blow a fuse I'm going to turn the power off okay the next step I want to do is I want to clean this surface in here with alcohol 
up where this is going to Velcro is going to sit. If the refrigerator um, is not clean, if there's any kind of stains up there or grease or anything there, take some 409 or something to it first. Make sure you get the box clean and then wipe it with alcohol. And this particular one, it looks really clean, so I don't need to worry. <laughs> And I'm going to let this dry for a minute. So if your refrigerator has been running, you need to leave it off for several hours, if not 24 hours. If there's any moisture residual at all in there, it, it, you've got a chance that this won't stick. We want it to be permanent. So this particular refrigerator has been off for quite a while. Okay, so I'm going to fit this up here, see how it fits. I'm going to kind of look centered on the fins here. Everything looks good there. So I'm going to bring the red wire over the top of it here. It'll kind of hide it in place. Yeah, that'll work. That looks good. So. Cut that, strip it, and I'm. Because I'm not attaching to an existing wire, I'm gonna butt connect this right at the end. Use a butt connector, or you can use solder, just something somewhat permanent. You don't wanna just twist them together and put a little black tape on it. Okay, one more dry run. Looking good. I'm gonna get the red wire over the top here. And I'm gonna peel, just peel the back of this sticky part of the Velcro. So this light can actually come off of there whenever you are whenever you need it to. The Velcro is in two pieces. Now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it to the back first. I'm gonna up against the fins and fight the wire the whole way. And once I stick this in place, it's pretty much done. So I'm back up against the fins really tight So this metal clip is specifically designed to clip on the back of the evaporator here. So I'm gonna push this on here and I'm gonna get it high enough where it's pretty much out of the way. You don't snag it with some food or something like that. So now I'm gonna simply strip the wire here and butt connect this. And make sure you really get these tight because you don't want any corrosion getting in there or failing when you need it the most. So I'm going to kind of tuck these up in here. Looking pretty good. And let me turn the fridge on. Wow, look at that. There's even built-in LED lights right inside of the fans here. So even though we eliminated the light that he had that didn't work, I mean, he hasn't had a light for a long time. So not, not only does he have light, but I can really feel the air movement down here from these two fans. So it's a great product, definitely gonna help cool the refrigerator.